was journeying back to where his son was. God sent some of his messengers, some of his friends, to come and tell him, you don't have to worry no more. We came from the house just now, and your son is doing fine. Quite naturally, the man was elated. He was happy. He was joyous. Because he believed that God kept his word. Hallelujah. But watch God. God ain't no punk. Turn to the my God ain't no punk. Just in case you ain't sure of whether or not he'll do what he said. He has a way of letting you know, I'll back up what I said. Because how about this? God even told the man, I dare you. Please understand that God will dare you. He will dare. He said, you don't think I can do it? I dare you. I'll show you what I can do. God told the man, I dare you. Ask him what time it was when your boy got healed. He said, okay, I'll do that. Look, y'all, I'm so happy. When did, when did my son get healed? He got healed, they said. Yesterday, glory to God, at the seventh hour. Hey, number one, seven is what? Completion. Seven is the number of completion. Which meant that before God even had a chance to put it to Jesus, to utter it out of his mouth, the situation was completed when he finished. I just came to tell y'all this morning that whenever you take the situation, First find Jesus. Take the situation to him. And before you have an opportunity to finish the prayer, the problem and the situation is going to be solved and answered before you have a, a chance to say thank you, Jesus. I'm telling you, anybody know that God will fix it even before you begin to praise? Hallelujah. So it was already handled that he said seventh. At the seventh hour, it was completed when Jesus open his mouth. Then the other thing, watch this, the other thing he said was, it happened in the seventh hour on yesterday. Amen. I came to tell somebody this morning, please understand that your problem is not solved when you say it. Amen. Your problem is not solved when you pray about it. Amen. Your problem is not solved at the hour that you let it come out of your mouth. God finished and saved and took care of the problem yesterday. Amen. Hallelujah. Which means that you only shout the day because it manifested. But in the spirit, it was already finished. When you saw it here, God was taking it up there. And he finished it and he fixed it before you even had a chance to ask him what it was. Hallelujah. So the thing you got to do first is detach yourselves from your situations. Don't wrap yourselves up in your situations. Detach yourself. Put the situation over there. Go into a faraway place from the situation. And then when you leave the situation, the next step is to go find Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Then once you find Jesus, believe that he can do what he said he's going to do. Hallelujah. Amen. And the third thing you do is after you find Jesus, wait for Jesus to tell those folk around you that's waiting for you to fall. I got something to show y'all. I'm getting ready to take them higher than they ever go. Hallelujah. Then I dare you to turn around and ask uh, Jesus, can you do it? And he will say yes. He will then tell you yes, send you on your way, tell you don't worry about it, praise your way through, and then he will even send witnesses to tell you that the thing is already done. Hallelujah. Then after he sends the witnesses, he will put a dare on you and tell you, listen, if you don't think I can do it, ask me how it went down. And he will tell you, I didn't do it just now. I did it yesterday before you even had a chance to ask me about it. Hallelujah. So understand, you got to take him at his word. You gotta take him at his word. Somebody say, I gotta take him at his word. Some of y'all are waiting for some stuff even now. And I hear my spirit God saying that some of y'all, I just finished doing some things for. You still are looking for some things, but because it's something fresh and something new, you then even dare me not to do it. God is saying, if I did it before, I'll do it. Again, hallelujah. Amen. Believe me, listen to me. It was not an easy thing for me, and, and I, I gotta say it just like this. Amen. It was not an easy thing for me to hear 
about the passing of Pastor Horton at this particular time. I'm just getting over the crossing over and processing the death of my husband. Then bam, out of nowhere, here comes something else. But as I heard it, God said to me, I did it before and I'll do it again. And not only do they have new beginnings, this is your new beginning. Amen. And now all I'm doing is sitting back, relaxed, and waiting for God to do everything that he said he would do. I'm coming to tell y'all, y'all better get ready for me. As a matter of fact, anybody ready to go? Turn and tell your neighbor, neighbor. Because what God is about to do for me, it's going to blow your mind. What you see now ain't going to be nothing compared to what you get ready to see in me. Hallelujah. Why? Because I'm taking God at his word. I came to tell somebody this morning, take your situations, lay them down, go find Jesus, let him handle it, and by the time you get there, he'll say, oh baby, I did that yesterday. Hallelujah. have allowed you not to be able to really understand Amen. why you're going through them. Sometimes Jesus will set you up in a situation to see how you're going to handle it. Because yeah. he already got it straight. Yeah. He just wants to see how you're going to carry the ball yes. back. Hallelujah. Yes. And if there's one this morning and you're not sure of whether or not you can take God at his word as this Amen. royal official did. I came to tell you this morning, detach yourself from your problem. Amen. And come and find Jesus. Amen. And when you get there, that thing inside of you that you thought was going to die mm -hmm. is getting ready to live. Amen. Is there one this morning? And you need to come and give me your hand and get, give God your heart. Is there one? Then we have a safe house. Turn and hug your neighbor and tell them, I'm glad you're saved. I'm glad you're saved. I'm glad you're saved.